South Pacific region comprises 18 countries, including Australia, New Zealand, Papua New Guinea, and the islands of the Pacific south of the equator. This region of the world is home to almost 37 million people, and there are currently 423,000 Seventh-day Adventists in the South Pacific region. That is approximately one Adventist for every 87 people. The majority of Adventists live in the islands, while Australia and New Zealand have a ratio of one Adventist for about every 400 people. Your 13th Sabbath offering this quarter will go to three unique projects that will heal, teach, and reach the remote parts of the earth. Welcome to Mamusi, one of the most remote villages in Papua New Guinea. People here live as they have for hundreds of years, and we are only able to visit this area by plane. There are no roads here through the dense jungle and tall mountains of Papua. We fly here today to fulfill an important promise. You have given me something very precious from your valley, and I want to promise you today I'm going to give you something precious in return. When we get the talking Bible, I will come to your village and I will give you and your people a talking Bible so that they can hear the Word of God in Pidgin English in their mother tongue for the first time. Pastor Gary Kent hosted an evangelistic meeting in Mount Hagen where he was able to preach to approximately 15,000 people on some nights. Many people in Papua learned about Jesus and were able to share their new faith with their local communities. Among the crowd who attended the event were 160 villagers from Mamusi who had traveled over four days to listen to the messages. When the meetings ended, the travelers from Mamusi were so amazed with what they had heard. The wonderful God of the Bible intrigued and inspired them. So before heading home, they went to greet the speaker. The chief of Mamusi thanked the pastor and gave him a gift of appreciation, feathers from a bird of paradise. Now, months later, the God Pods are brought to the Mamusis. Most of them cannot read or speak, and even if they stumbled upon the sacred word of God, they would not be able to understand it. You see, they speak pidgin English. The God Pods are taking Bibles that the Mamusis and other villages of Papua New Guinea will be able to use to learn the important messages that God has left to us to conduct our lives here on earth and to prepare for the day of Jesus' soon return. The Mamusis can now listen in their own languages. They can share with their friends and their God pods will never run out of battery. The talking Bibles are powered by the sun. How appropriate, isn't it? If our lives are powered by the living Son of God, our batteries will never run out as well for he promises us eternal life. May God revive his people in Papua New Guinea and many places of the world through his living, breathing, talking word. People in the remote villages of the South Pacific are in constant need of medical attention. From a simple flu to broken bones, pregnancy and malaria, some of the villagers there can actually go an entire lifetime without ever seeing a doctor and some of them die from commonly treated illnesses. In Mangino, the Seventh-day Adventist Church set up a medical clinic to provide care and treatment to the local village. It is the only clinic within miles. Some of the people in the neighboring towns will travel great distances on foot to get basic medical attention at the Mangino Clinic. Roy Lowley walked here with his parents from another village. They came in search of treatment for his mother who was not feeling well. After trekking for hours through the jungle to get there, this family is very appreciative of the work being done and hopes for a clinic in their village someday. We have a uh, privilege to have the SDA mission to come up here and then share this uh, hospital so that all the people located around the bush places like here, um, we usually come and take the medicine here for our treatment, yes. The work here is plentiful, and the Mangino Clinic struggles to tend to the high demand of those seeking medical attention. 
The Mangino Clinic is just one example of the clinics throughout the South Pacific region, and the need for more health posts is great. These medical clinics are an effective way to treat physical as well as spiritual needs. It's an essential service for the communities and a sure way to win souls for Jesus. Can you imagine not having heard the story of Daniel in the den of lions, the ark of Noah, and all the marching animals, or say the supernatural plagues brought on the Egyptians? There are so many fascinating lives and events in the Bible. They are there for training up a child in the way that he should go. And the Bible tells us that even in latter years, he will not depart from the ways of these precious character lessons. In the South Pacific, children simply do not have enough Bibles. Only one out of 10 little ones have access to the most fascinating book, the Bible. They want it for themselves, to learn and to share. Imagine the impact that one equipped child can make on their family, community, school, or church. When you pick up your Bible this week, remember what a special gift you have been given. And remember to contribute to this quarter's 13th Sabbath offering, so a child will not grow up without the privilege every little one should have. This 13th Sabbath offering will go towards these projects. We pray you will be a missionary where you are and support the mission work of the Seventh-day Adventist Church. To learn more about these and other projects, visit AdventistMission.org.